It is the best time of the year. The holidays are upon us, and that means it's the end of the year for Halo Infinite. We're playing the new Winter Contingency 2 event. It's got some cool cosmetics for your holiday seasons. A really cool BR skin, a Santa hat, all sorts of stuff to go after. So sit back, relax, enjoy the live gameplay. I hope the end of your year is going super well. Take it easy, and we'll see you again very soon. There we go. It was so close on the first shot. Nice. Is that a bot? I think that's a bot. We'll grab the commando when it comes up here. There's a winter event going on. I think it's going to be the last event for Halo Infinite this year. It's got really cool holiday cosmetics. It's got a Santa hat. You can equip a Santa hat in Infinite. I love that. That sounds super fun to me. Right, needs. Much throw, such why. There we go. Did he have any nades? No, he didn't have any left. And the cosmetics look rad. It's also got a really cool blue, like, frosted uh, BR skin. There we go. Oh, my gosh. And, yeah, yeah, I stuck with mouse. Um, I promise I won't talk about it too much in this video. That's what the last video uh, is about. If you want to know my opinions on the mouse and keyboard changes in, like, actual matchmaking, BTP stuff, you can look at the last video. I figured it would be a good day to talk about, like, the end of the year, like, best games this last year. Hot dog. Here we go. Grab that. Because I didn't get the chance to put out a, like, best games of 2022. Usually I do, like, the best FPS games of 2022 kind of video. I'm failing with my cinder shot right now. That was embarrassing. If anybody knows how I should have ricocheted those shots, let me know. Thank you. Bounce back in here. We just have one shot left. But not, I didn't play a lot this year. I mean, honestly, usually I do an end of year FPS videos. He's like the best FPS games that came out this year. But not much came out on the FPS front. We had Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And outside of that, I can't think of it. I know High on Life just came out, but that's not really the type of game that like I would probably think you guys are that interested in. It's on Game Pass, so I guess we could check it out. But really, this year for me came down to, like, Elden Ring. I didn't play through Metroid Dread last year, and so... This was the year that I got, got through it. Thank you. What else? I mean... I finished the Switch game or two. Ah. Oh. I, I really thought he was going to continue, like, strafing that other way. But man, Elden Ring. Can we talk about Elden Ring for a little bit here? Oh my gosh, man. So I've been playing Souls, Dark Souls games since DS1, Prepare to Die Edition. Got DS2 right after launch. Actually, if any of you are, like, super long-time viewers of the channel, and remember Toast Bomb? Nice. Um... It was Toasty who's the one who got me into Dark Souls. He was the one. We were on a podcast at the time called The Viewpoint. And, oh my gosh, he just, like, sold me on it, and it changed everything. Like, I got so invested in Souls for so long. No! That guy was looking. That was a nice shot, because I jumped, and that sight line's, like, not open. So he must have been, like, laser-pointed on that sight line. No riot. No riot in this match, I don't think. And wouldn't you know it, I literally just used a challenge swap to get rid of um, the heat wave thing. <laughs> it was a heat wave challenge. I was like, oh, I'm not going to get a map that has heat wave on it. By the way, I really like this map. I don't think it's too terribly bad for social. I don't know about ranked. But anyway, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2 got obsessed. I, I played and beat Dark Souls 1. Then I went through Dark Souls 2 like four times in a row. Like, got so involved in it, man. It was one of those game-changing experiences. Do you think it can hit the shot? Alright. I need a, a grenade challenge as well. That's why I was messing around with that. But anyway, DS2. Loved it. Dark Souls 3. Didn't enjoy it as much. 
and I did not play through Bloodborne, but Elden Ring was just enough time in between my last Souls game and this one to truly, like, get sucked back in. Darn. Oh, I love the ricochets. Let's go. And yeah, so if you played Elden Ring, let me know. Love that game. That was incredible. What a year. What a year. Outside of that, I didn't play God of War Ragnarok. I just didn't have the time this year. Nice. Good kill, good kill. Really, that was it. It seems like a quiet year. I've noticed in my time doing YouTube, there are good years, like on years and off years when it comes to gaming. And I think... I'm trying to bait it a little bit here if they're gonna... No, I gotta get a spot. Boop. One and two. Thank you. There's good year and then an off year with gaming. It seems like it's maybe an every third year kind of a deal. And this last year was one of those off years. This next year, there's so many games coming out. Halo specifically, I what I would really want to see this next year, other than them getting in a consistent cadence. Let's go for the island play. Other than them getting in a consistent cadence with their seasons. Where's that guy shooting me? He's over there. Okay. Maybe he won't see me. Oh, he, he whiffed the melee. He he had the right play in mind there, though. Nearing victory. This is a very fun match so far, man. Let's grab the BR. Nice. Free. Go grab. It, mouse feels great. Mouse feels really good. If anything, it now feels like a little too good. <laughs> but you didn't hear it from me. But anyway, for this next year with Infinite, more consistent, like, updates with their seasonal stuff. But I want to see these limited time modes being, like, actual, like, game types, you know, cool new creative things. Um, other than just sort of an event pass where you've got some challenges to go complete for cosmetics. I know that's something that they can improve on and, and get working this next year. Oh, he's down there. I was like, where was that shot? Did he rotate? He did. Ooh, good play, man. Good play. I dropped that last shot. I got glazed by Mr. Glazer. Actually, MG Glazer. Whatever that means. Do you think we'll uh, see anything from Tatanka next year? Or whatever mode certain uh, affinity is working on? I sure hope so. I don't think it's going to be a BR. I really don't. What's the kill? It's 45-30? Okay. Still need that grenade kill. Did I get it? No. Maybe here? Grenade kill? Oh, he walked forward. Good play, man. <laughs> I need that grenade kill challenge so I can get the Santa hat and, like, sugar-coated BR coating. Or whatever it's called. just wonder what Tatanka could be like if it's an entirely new mode fingers crossed no didn't land good game that was fun man okay maybe I'm just gonna play mouse and keyboard don't teabag my friend it was a social match we gotta chill we gotta chill all right, back in it. I need that Santa hat. Uh oh, two AFKs. I tried to save you, bro. I tried to save you. It's just a tiny bit too late. Is he going to rotate as well? Oh, he's got Cinder Shot. Oh, thank you. And he was on a controller. Poor guy. I couldn't turn around. That is the worst feeling in the world when you're getting like shoved super hard aggressively and you're like, I just need to turn around and I play this game on for sensitivity. Thank you. So next year, though, oh my gosh, like so many games coming out this next year. We have I have like a little notepad of the stuff that I'm, I'm like keeping track of. So we've got Starfield, the new Legend of Zelda game, Tears of the uh, what is it? Tears of the Kingdom. 
not Breath of the Wild, it's Tears of the Kingdom. We got Final Fantasy 16. We've got the new Stalker game. Like Stalker 2, man. Oh, I should have died there. Super should have died there. Thank you. I still can't use the pulse carbine very effectively. I'm not gonna lie. It's not my best weapon. So I feel I feel the sympathy for this man. Even with the buffs. I think I'm uh, I think I'm I'm gonna stick with mouse and keyboard. It feels good. <laughs> I know I keep flip-flopping back and forth, man, but it feels really good. Where's the spawn? Where's the spawn? The new Hogwarts game, I'm honestly, like, a little interested in Diablo 4, but I don't know. Like, if the uh, Activision, Microsoft thing doesn't happen, I'm not positive. Like, if we'll see some of the changes that people hoped would happen over at Blizzard. I haven't really been following that too much. It is wild, though, seeing the FTC get so involved. Street Fighter 6. Gosh, I'm trying to think what... Oh, the, the new Jedi... Um, is it Jedi Outcast? No, Jedi Survivor. The new Jedi Survivor game. If you didn't play the Jedi Outcast game, man, that is fun. And if you like kind of Souls-style games... Oh, man, that nade blew up right in my face. Good, good shot, man. Oh, one away. One away. Running riot. And also, like, the, the fours maps, they're just small enough that it feels dandy. I... Oh, man, I like it. Ooh, what hit? Was that a need? Oh, boy. Oh, long distance. Do I have enough time to... Oh. Bail. Bail, Dragoon. Bail. Oh, my goodness. That was so tense for a little bit there. It's also the worst. You can't hear it, but in my headset, there's email notifications that go off for like the various like email accounts and stuff. And a due date was coming up for like multiple projects, and it literally triggered like six email notifications in a row. So like as that sequence was going to add to the stress of it all, it was like ding ding ding. Sorry, bro. Oh, I forgot. We don't have to worry about that friendly fire there. Send your shot inside. Okay, gosh, the commando buff is wicked. Yeah, I'll take this, thank you. Need to reload. <laughs> I wanted to boost into him and I, I missed the the key. Oh my good gracious, <laughs> let's go, man. I can safely say I really am enjoying Halo Infinite again. It's not like in a perfect state, but they did make some headway this year. And honestly, the last two months has fully made me think that they're gonna. Oh, I could fire one more. Oh, goodness. I should have had that shot right there. I felt super overwhelmed when they were pushing me. I feel pretty confident that they're gonna stick to a consistent schedule. It's still over there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Thank you, thank you. Let's reload that. Oh, it only has 11 shots left. Darn it. Pull back up here. Oh, I thought it was a sticky. I thought I ran over the plasmas. <laughs> Oh, and well, what do you think? Let me know what games you're looking forward to this next year. What were your favorites this year? And then on the Halo front, will we see Tataka next year? Will we not? Nice shots. My goodness, was that a perfect? That felt just savage. And uh, what do you think for Infinite this next year? I, I, I like this game again. It was good to take a break, I think, right after Season 2. That was, like, a smart choice. There we go. There's the grenade kill. Oh, it was an assist, I think. Good game, good game, super fun. Check out the holiday event. What is it, Winter Contingency 2 or something? Yeah, you can see the character on the left there. He's got the Santa hat. 
thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these chill videos, let me know by liking the video. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for your support. It's been a great year and excited to get a few more videos out before we take over into 2023. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you again very soon.